Option in your home, in your home, oh, on the phone, on the phone, all alone, all alone, uh, I can see you no interruption. Yo guys, what is going on? X Super Lobbies here, and today in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to change the MAC address on your PS3 to unban you from games like Ghost, Black Ops 2, GTA 5, and just change your MAC address overall. I'm gonna try to make this video as short as I can. It's a pretty long tutorial, but I'm gonna pause through the updating and stuff because there's a lot of updating to be done in this video. So the first thing is this is a Dex only tutorial. So if you're on CX, you're out of luck because on CX you can just spoof your MAC address, so there's no need of changing it. But on Dex is a permanent stick for changing your MAC address. So first you have to find out if you're on Eater or Rebug. That's pretty simple because you know you know what you went to. So if you're on Rebug, download the 3.55999 downgrade or the down, uh, downgrade to 355. And if you're on EDA 4.50 or whatever, um, in the EDA Dex firmware, you guys want to download 355 downgrade a pup. This is the um, downgraded for Dex EDA. So I'm on EDA. And before I go any further, the requirements for this vid uh, tutorial is he you need hex editor, uh, USB in the Dex PS3 and all these downloads in the description. So I'm gonna drag out this whole PS3 folder and drag it under the root of my USB. What's up guys, I'm back on my PS3. Now after the updates on your USB, make sure you put it in the right hand slot with the folder saying PS3 update, all the capital, and then the PS3 update.pup in your USB, and then plug into the right side, and then go to system update, via storage media, and you'll see the 355 PS3 update.pup. Now I'm going to click this, and it's going to start downgrading your PS3. Um, and I'm going to speed up this part of the video and play some music. And don't be uh, afraid if after it says co after it's copy and your PS3 doesn't reboot, it's just a black screen. Only thing you have to do is turn it on and then turn it back on, and then the update will uh, continue going. It just sometimes that happens. Sometimes uh, with these firmwares, they don't read correctly. Um, but you're all good. If it happens to me, I'll pause the video and show you guys. Um, so I'll see you guys when this is done. I'm going to speed it up. See you guys when it's done. Started out in Brooklyn back in 96 When the Nets were still in Jersey But we loved the Knicks I didn't grow up in a family that hugged and kissed But on state they ain't love their kids We ain't some Republicans And all I wanted was a pool in my backyard They say we couldn't have fun, didn't have jobs They say we couldn't pay rent, couldn't slack off Couldn't pack up and take the vacation out of Nassau Got a private education with the future Goldman Sachs cats Even tried to duck the bill collector on some Aflac They got rich dads named Garfield That's fat cats, that's fat cats Sammy Frank and Dean, I got my rap pack, my rap pack, so don't worry about my accent. You live your life in past tense. You know some girls out there. Alright guys, my PS3 just rebooted. Now we're on 3.55 firmware. Uh, just a regular jailbreak. Now we need to uh, re-update to Bozex 3.55 is another OS. Before we do that, I'm going to show you guys right now that I'm still on 3.55 and the last two digits of my MAC address are 92. See, see, I blocked it, everything with the last two digits, and it's still on 92. Now, I'll meet you on the, guys on the computer for the next step. Make sure you plug your USB in, and you'll be ready to go. See you guys there. Alright, guys, I'm back on my computer. So now what you're going to do is plug in your USB stick to your uh, computer. Now you want to open up the folder PS3 update, and then you'll see the PS3 update that was, that was just updated with our PS3. I'm going to go ahead and delete that. And now you want to... Um, you want to get Bozex Pup 355. You should have downloaded this in the beginning of the video. Um, so if you haven't, pause the video and just come back where you left off. But now I'm going to transfer the PS3 update over here. Alright, guys, I'm back. PS3 when this is done. See you guys there. Alright guys, I'm back on my PS3. Um, make sure your USB is in the right hand slot of your ears, yeah, on your PS3. And now what we're going to do now is we're actually going to update our PS3 to 355. 
on a 355. It's going to be a different 355 um, firmware. Uh, it's called an um, it's called an other OS firmware. Um, I don't know. This firmware is just an other OS. Some rebuild firmwares are other OS, but this is what we want to do. So make sure you have the Bozex firmware on your USB. Go to System um, Update and then Via Storage Media, and then you'll see the update right here. And just to guys let you know, we're still on Dex firmware right now because Bozex is a Dex firmware. Um, so that's why this is only for Dex users. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video, uh, pause my, um, you know, me talking, speed up this part of the video, play some music, and I'll see you guys when it's done updating. Everything I've done, everything I've made Flip full circle, now I go a different way And I took my pain and I threw it away And now you always see Benny with a smile on his face Attitude awesome, mindset positive Went downhill, but now I'm doing the opposite Now remember, I was choking under pressure Now everything I do, I'ma do one better And way back, it was nothing but a dream Something that I couldn't reach Don't try, you'll be let down No way, care less what you say Just have a little faith, one day you'll be so proud all you gotta do is believe, even if it means leaving where you came to be, and I won't forget the place. Alright guys, my PS3 just rebooted, now we're on Bozex 3.55 DEX firmware, that's what we want to be on at the moment. Now I'm going to select my user, I'm going to go back to my system setting to show you that my MAC address still ends in 92, and I'm still on version 3.55 as you guys can see. Now what you guys want to do is go on your computer and I'll meet you guys there. Alright guys, I'm back on my PS3, I mean my computer, <laughs> my bad. Uh, make sure USB is plugged into it, now open up your USB uh, folder. Now simply just drag Chaos Airbringer on here and delete the update off the PS, uh, off the USB, delete the PS3 folder off. Just make sure it's Chaos Airbringer on here by itself, okay? Now eject your USB safely and I'll meet you guys back on the PS3. Alright guys, now we're back on our PS3, now what we want to do is simply install Chaos Airbringer. And make sure your USB is plugged in during this, okay? And I'm going to start it up now, and don't be scared, your screen is going to go black for like 10 seconds. Do not worry, make sure your USB is in the right hand slot. Do not unplug it during this process or turn the PS3 off. Um, simply start up Chaos Airbringer now. Do not turn it off when it's on a black screen, that's what it, the program is supposed to do, that's what it's made for. It's going to dump our Mac original onto our USB so we can change it okay so now um, you see that I'm black screened my PS3 is perfectly fine do not press any buttons on your con on your controller just leave it off to the side and to exit you to the XMB uh, see I'm at the XMB now that's good that means it worked and it took like 10 seconds now I'm you guys back on the computer to show you guys what to do with that file Alright guys, I'm back on my computer. Now what you guys want to do is plug your USB in and open up the USB. Now you'll see a file called mag underscore original dot bin. Now simply delete chaos airbringer dot pkg off your USB. Now drag this file onto your desktop. And delete the one in your USB. And then we're going to have to format our USB now to be completely safe. We're going to right click it. Hit format. And make sure it's on FAT32. And then hit start. It should take not the, it shouldn't take that long. Just uh, back up the important files on your USB. There we go. Format complete, and that's good. Now, um, open back up your USB. Okay, now nothing's on it. Now, with that Mac dot underscore original on your desktop, drag it back on your USB. Now, what you guys want to do is uh, you can delete one off your desktop now. Open up HXD editor. And now drag that Mac underscore original dot bin on into hex editor right here. Now I blacked out all my other digits on my Mac address. But now you'll see the last two on my PS3 were 92. Now you can change this to anything you want. I'm going to change mine to 69 because I'm a fucking G. Now I'm going to save it. And now you'll get a backup file on your USB called dot back as an extension. We can just go ahead and delete that. And now we're good to go. But now... You guys thought you were good. You have to rename this file right here. 
dot you take out the underscore original part just make it mac dot bin and then eject your usb safely and i'll meet you guys on the ps3 to show you guys what to do next all right guys now eject your uh, usb from your computer now simply plug it into your ps3 now before i start up chaos airbringer again i'm going to show you guys one last time that my system information 355 my last two digits are not uh, 92 and they should turn to 69 so now what she's going to do is simply start up chaos airbringer and do not touch your controller just don't touch it because when it reboots i mean um when the uh, chaos Airbringer kicks you to the xmb um do not press anything in your controller just turn your ps3 i'll tell you guys when to do it And you should be black screened again, which is perfectly fine. Now we quit. Do not press anything. Do not even move at all. Now just turn off your PS3 by pressing the power button. Alright, um, my PS3 did just reboot. Now we're going to head over to the system settings on the PS3 to see if it changed. And if you did it correctly, it should change. As you guys can see, the last two of mine did change to 69. So there you go, guys. You successfully changed your MAC address. So hope this video did help you. If it did, leave a like, comment if you have any questions, and subscribe if you're new. And since we're still on the DEX firmware on 3.55, that means you can now update to any DEX firmware, which means you can update to either or Rebug, whatever one you prefer. So I hope you did do it. Do did <laughs> enjoy the video. If you did, um, you know, please drop a like. Like I said, hope to see you guys in the next video. Peace.